The world of Pokemon isn't the brightest place. Crime happens often with little to no breathing room to relax. The name's Pikachu. Detective Pikachu. I'm the only hope this pathetic town's got. Talk to me. Yeah, something happened at Town Square. I'll be there. This happens on a daily basis, I swear. It being rough is the understatement of the century. Why I continue to help people is beyond me. I guess I'm just trying to feel something. Anything that could help. H who's this? Uh... Hey, ho ho ho! Nice cosplay, man! Oh man, I'd love to sign an autograph, but I gotta take care of a situation. Hey kid, this is supposed to be my job. I was called in from my office. Wow, get a load of this old timer. Hey, which one of the Detective Pikachus did you call? I don't know, I tried them both. Ah, that explains this. Two detectives? I'm supposed to be the only Detective Pikachu. I've been cleaning up these streets for 35 years. But I am the real Detective Pikachu. My eyes are drawn properly, unlike yours. <sighs> My depression couldn't get any worse. The fate of this town is going to- Are you inner monologuing? Cool. I break the fourth wall in a less subtle way. What the heck are you talking about? I just talk directly to the camera. Where? There's nothing there. Well, actually, I'm the only one that can see it, because I'm the main character. This new detective's been talking about some fourth wall break nonsense. Does he literally think this is some sort of game? <laughs> look, I got a new costume. Doesn't it look familiar? I hate you. Are you two going to investigate? What? Get back to work. <laughs> oh, that was some bad coffee I had. <laughs> is he okay? It seems we are but a perfect match. We both have mental health problems. I said, is he okay? Oh, um, I don't think so. I'm okay. I'm just acknowledging that we are in fact in a short film right now. Watch, I'll prove that we're in a cartoon. I'll pull my head off and survive. Ha, 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 ha. I think we got our suspect. This is comedic gold. They literally think that I did it because I'm self-aware. The jokes are just getting way too meta. Hey, cast and crew, I'd like to get out now. Can wow, he's still treating this like a joke. The There's something like seriously some wrong ending. here. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Look, I'm not impersonating you anymore. I'm just an ordinary Pikachu with a cute little hat. Yeah, I see that. I didn't do it. Or, I don't even know what I did. Unless you arrested me for being annoying, then I'm guilty as charged. Yeah, he's still not cracking. Well, he's cracking jokes, but he really isn't taking this seriously in the slightest. Oh, well, that's rude, turning away from me. We're not letting you out until you take this case seriously. Why should I take it seriously? I'm a cute yellow mouse for crying out loud. You are too. We're missing out on a very funny dynamic. I'll be the smart, funny main character, and you could be my sidekick that shows confusion to every action I do. He's insane, Mr. Detective. Best bet we continue looking for the culprit and just commit this one to a hospital. No, we are not committing this one. This case is just made personal. Well, why didn't you say so? Take me into questioning, eh, girlfriend? All right, before we get into why you decided to impersonate me, let's get on. What happened at Town Square? Ah, ah, ah! You can't get anything out of me unless you give me some coffee! You can have some of mine! Don't you dare! That coffee makes him gassy! He's right, you know! <laughs> oh, I almost peed myself! I knew it was going to take a while, but I pursued on. I was persistent with my questions. No matter how many times he quipped a snide remark, he always found something to poke fun at. I thought I'd given up by now, when I finally got something out of him. Do other Pokemon like you? Oh, believe me, I'm a loved all across the board. I'm the number one cosplayed Pokemon, if you know what I mean. Are you sure about that? 
Have you ever considered that instead they like the idea of you? <laughs> the idea of me? See, I'm the original Detective Pikachu. You also like the idea of me. And just that. You didn't copy the meat and potatoes on the inside. All right, you got me. You're pretty cool on paper, but, you know, boring and lame in person. I kept what was cool and just duked it out in my own style. You just made it worse. To you. There's a reason why there's colored in my world and not yours. <laughs> there was a time and a place for that. But it really did get me to reflect on my personal self. Am I happy that I'm a detective? Or am I just happy of being the idea of one? Like back when I was a kid, watching all the film noirs in the cinema. Aside from a handful though, most of those film noirs were excruciatingly boring, with flat one-dimensional characters and simple plots. But yet, I continued watching, always fantasizing about being in the main character's shoes, and how cool that would be. And now, here I am, inspiring other lonely kids like that one Detective Pikachu to pursue the same dream I regret chasing. Oh, pour it all over me. Just let my pores succulate the juices up. What are you doing? Well, whoops. Please don't judge me. Yeah, he's just rewarding me that I told him the culprit for this case. That's my job. You like blacked out for a solid minute. Are you sure you're down to do this case? But I'll tell you who it was. It was your mama. Ha ha ha. That wasn't funny. Why'd you laugh at that? Strange. I gave him the reaction he was looking for, and he got all uptight. Up oh, there you go again, blanking out. Like, are you talking in your head like you're narrating to someone? Sort of how I talk to the camera in a patronizing way? Yet again, this kid is absolutely baffling me with all this fourth wall break. Wait! Oh my gosh, I am. Oh. Is that why you're constantly speaking your thoughts? Yeah, it just comes up and doesn't leave me alone. <laughs> like visiting my grandmother's on Christmas. Oh, see, it just did it on its own. I had no control of that. Hidden in plain sight. We did have the same- Stop, stop blanking out and help the kid. Cursing into the thin air at nothing. Had I clearly lost I'm it- I'm talking to you, you stupid voice in my head. Oh my gosh. Have, Have I lost, I lost my, my mind, mind like, like he did? did? Starting, to, Starting imitate to imitate the, the voice, voice I, thought I thought I heard. Shut up, you. I'm telling the story. No, no, you shut up. I have no clue what you're doing right now, but you're kind of scaring me. Like whenever I eat a whole lot of bean burritos at Taco Bell. You! You pointed this out. I cannot hear it now. Dad. So, I attacked him. How dare he make me self-aware and subject me to this farce. But he started to fight back. Wait, what? Ugh. Oh, you can't win with a headbutt. Out. Ugh. Hey, the camera crew, it's gone. What? It, it, it's not here. They were just standing right around us, but they're all gone now. Uh, I'm not narrating anymore. Did our headbutt scramble our brains or something? Hey, wait, before it comes back. When I was in town square, I actually did come across something. What? Hey, what are you two doing on the floor? Get back to work. Oh, I I'm sorry. Oh yeah, I think this one's mine. Yeah, whatever. So, did he finally crack? <laughs> Mr. Officer, I just left out the biggest fart before you came in here. I'd leave the room if I were you. Okay, that's it. Off the case, you're not taking this seriously anymore. Dude, dude, look, Th there's a cameraman over there. He's with a bunch of Pokemon, and they keep snickering at me. <laughs> ah, it's rubbing off on you, huh? That's sad. Dude, I'm so craving coffee right now. You gotta give me some coffee, man. Come on. What coffee, even happened coffee, to that guy? He, he just changed on a dime. Was it because he was under pressure? Uh, I'm for sure under pressure. I, I never noticed it before, but it hit me like a big semi-truck. I just realized that... My life up to this point was downright miserable, and I had no motivation to change it. The walls, they just felt like they were constantly caving in on me. Like the color was sucked out of my world, and it had been like this for as long as I could remember. So, I sat there and waited. And I had no clue why I was narrating, and I had no clue why I was so sad all of a sudden. The hat on my head. 
It was the only semblance of identity I needed. So I had to keep it on. If it wasn't for that, everyone would just see me as just some ordinary Pikachu.